All right, YouTube, we're here. We're going to show you some fancy stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so we need to prime it. Okay, I'm sick of fighting this thing. So we're just going to stop with that. I had that thing for 12 years, and I hated it every time I started it the entire, the entire 12 years. <laughs> and it was free. So thank you, whoever gave it to me. So we are going to start fresh. FS56RC. Everybody loves it when I do power tool reviews because I'm always wearing the proper personal protective gear. Long sleeves, safety toes, no safety boots. So I don't want to hear it. If you think I should be wearing more safety gear, it's on YouTube. It's not going to shoot in your eyeball. You can anyway, come trim our house for us. That's right. Please do. I would love that. So this is still, it does have a primer, unlike the chainsaws that have a primer built in. So I'm going to put it to the choke setting. And still should start easy. This is the first time I've started. There's a spring-loaded kill switch here. And this is, of course, straight instead of a bent like that. Yep. So hopefully we'll get more of the torque we'll carry down to the head. So we're using the crappy still line here. We'll probably switch that out as soon as we can. I've been really satisfied with my chainsaw and I've used the heck out of it, okay? We do plan on using the steel gas for the first run and then we're just gonna go to a uh, one to 50. It's raining. It is raining. Okay, we're gonna go to a one to 50 gas to oil and uh, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, you're supposed to start it down here. And then uh, you have to push in this button like this, and then you move it all the way up to choke. So that's what I was doing wrong. Except I pulled the trigger, dang it. Still does things like this. <laughs> I would have still been doing that for 27 years with that thing. So that was still on choke, by the way. That's why I died. So I'm not even going to actually put it on choke at all. And it should start. And that thing is easy. The flywheel is heavy. So when you pull, it just like spins on its own almost. I feel like I'm way overpowering it. So I'm going to go back to choke. Pull the trigger. See, it automatically comes out of choke there. So when it's in choke, then when you pull the trigger, it pops it out. So, start. And we're running. Safety turn. Let's go cut some grass. It's really nice and shaded back here, so it grows really good. Um, so this is sod, new sod last year. Hasn't been cut this season at all. And um, this lovely little hill design that Ryan is standing on is courtesy of our builder and our landscape guy. I don't know, we don't know what they thought, but it's impossible where he's standing. It's not wide enough to get the zero turn, so he can't just drive down there and turn around. Um, and it's obviously really steep, and then it's steep down here below him because it goes down to our walkout. Um, and so it's really hard for him to mow, even with a push mower. And this is like the fastest 
that he's been able to cut it, I think, since we've lived here. He knows all of the specs on this one, I think. Um, but this one's kind of more of like a middle of the road. Mostly we just need to trim around the house. And really our goal is to have to trim as little as possible. Um, just trimming is a pain and no one really likes doing it. So, I'm sure he'll try and trim down here in the timber. He probably doesn't need to, but I'm sure he'll try and use it down there. <laughs> but this isn't like the highest level of trimmer that Steel makes. It's just kind of like a middle of the road, you know, get it done around the house kind of thing. It's still uh, like a bump head system, like most trimmers are. switch what do you think all right guys so as you can see I missed a few spots because I kind of suck at weed whacking trimming whatever you want to call it in your region uh, I still don't like doing it <laughs> steel don't like doing it uh, this thing's better than what I've ever had self trimming that'll be the first feature to come off because I want to cut bigger swaths this thing has plenty of power if you're cutting around your house, you could definitely do that. Safety first though, so don't do that. Unless you're like me and you're gonna do it anyway. But uh, as you can see, that's a pretty big spot and the grass was, what about knee high? You'll notice it's spread it spots, all over my yeah. legs. This does come with a strap that comes here and it hooks on like a lanyard if you wanna do that. And then you have to hold it up. I have noticed that the ergonomics of this make it so that, obviously you can adjust the handle out where you wanna, what I, want to have the handle but I like it to balance mostly on the handle so I may have to actually cut that down or get rid of it all together I don't even know what that thing does the little grippy part yeah oh. kind of drives me nuts actually but the thing is I was thinking of either putting the handle out lower or putting it way up here because then it'll be more balanced when I when I'm holding it like this I don't want it to do that mm. I want it to do this so I'll play with that a little bit um, I think we'll do this last little bit here just on this side, show the people around that trim. You see that trim board that goes down? We have Hardy Plank siding. Up here. So, uh, James Hardy Plank siding. James, what's his other name? James, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Is whatever. It's Hardy name? Plank siding is yeah. what I call it. So James Hardy. When you hit it with, when you hit it with this, then it will strip the paint and finish. So you got to be a little bit careful. So we're going to see how it does. This is .080 line, right? No. 0.095. 0.095. Yeah, yep. that's right. And then I'm going to be probably running a 0.105 when I'm done running through this crap. So super easy to load. It's not the feed and, and spin. You just take it off like every other one you've ever done and you load it both directions. So that's the way I'm going to do it. I had a $30 feature you could buy where you just fed it through and spun it in. I'm not going to spend 30 bucks. The head, yeah, but the heads are interchangeable if you want to get yeah. a different style. And, and it they're does pretty come easy with, to come off. It does come with this tool. It comes with the spark plug tool, similar to what it looks like on a chainsaw. Yep. And then it comes with a tool that you feed down into this hole right there. And then that locks this so that you can undo it. Yep. So you see how there's like a key that comes along? There's your key. You're gonna have to go a little bit steeper. See the key going by, guys? So that's gonna allow you to release that if you want. You just stick it in, then you spin this. And that locks it so that you can undo it. All right, we're gonna get back to it. We're gonna hit this little area, and then we'll take you down to the woods. Okay, starting it again. You ready, guys? Oh, yeah.
pipe they're sticking out is a clean out for our septic system. So that'll obviously always have to be trimmed around. I think we need to just do some sort of landscaping back here so that he doesn't have to worry about mowing or trimming this spot because it is just a pain. Um, but this is also like our kids' favorite spot to play is back here on the little hill. I'll actually mow that with the zero turn. Yeah, that part he can get to with the zero turn. But it's really, I mean, you can see it's a pretty good slope there. If he's six foot tall, it's taller than him and it's pretty well straight up. It's really good for sledding if you have small children. That's about all that hill is good for. Can I get him a close up of this? Alright, gotta be a little bit careful on the throttle. Just trying to be a little extra careful there along where the siding is right, almost right down to the ground. There he's up against foundation, it's a little bit easier. Alright guys, so that sucked exactly as much as I expected it to, but I'll tell you what, my last trimmer, for 12 years I fought starting it, for 12 years, actually more like 15, right? Well, no, as long as we lived. Year, but yeah, so 13 and 13, a half years, year, yeah. 13, 13 and a half years, yep. and it was horrible. So I finally said I'm going to get something decent, and I decided to go with steel because I had good luck with my steel chainsaw, okay? Uh, is it the end-all cure-all? Probably not, but this thing is going to be good and I'm excited to try it. The one thing I like is that I pull the string and it goes, okay? As you can see, we're trying to get grass to take here, so that explains my complete persistent uh, lack of mowing over here. That's this. That's just growth from this season. So what we're going to do next is we'll take you down. Obviously, we have more to trim. We're not going to bore you with that because it might be fun to watch somebody else trim, but it sucks to do it. So we're going to go down in the woods and we'll show you a couple of clips of cutting through some rougher stuff. Tell them what we're cutting. Okay. This is um, where we're going to have one of our paths so that the kids can run back to the back. Um, this is like hay, basically. Right now he's cutting a bunch of red clover. We just got some dandelion. There's probably a little bit of alfalfa mixed in. Um, but this is not yard grass. This is hay. So we get a lot more volunteer little saplings that come up, uh, wild raspberries, we have sumac, all that kind of stuff that comes up through here, which you would normally not ever do with the weed whacker, but just wants to test out with this one. So it's definitely a lot thicker. This would be, this is heavy duty trimming. This is not normal yard maintenance trimming. Okay. We've got these three covers for our septic system. Um, and they stick up just enough that they're kind of a pain just for him to just run over with the mower. And I went through that thistle like bottom. Yeah, we've got a couple of thistles coming up around there. We've got all sorts of fun weeds. So this gets kept longer um, than regular yard grass. Like I said, most of this is going to be hay production. 
with just a path here and there so we can kind of get around and not have to walk through the grass when it's waist high. So obviously it'll make it through regular residential use without even thinking about it. Um, that's some pretty tall stuff guys. It's not the thickest grass you're going to find, but this is going to be taken for hay so I kind of hate to cut a lot of it. But it's not just yard grass, there's a lot of other stuff in it. No, there's red clover and then there's of course all the different types of grass and then there's a few trees and things that, that come up. But this thing so far, very impressed, uh, it's getting very dirty, well that's to be expected. Um, I, just, I don't know, I've just been impressed with steel, and the only thing I don't like about them is that I can't spell the word or pronounce it properly. <laughs> but I like it, and I hope you will too. Guys, come back for more amazing safety-oriented videos.